Hey you guys, I just got my first Coastal Sense order in the mail and I just opened it up and kind of opened everything up so I can show you guys what I got. And I have a one year old boy here, Brody, that keeps wanting to talk on camera. And I have a cat that's trying to get on the shot. Leia, get down! She's not supposed to be on the table. Uh, so let's see, I got a bunch of these hot pots. I think that's what these things are called. They're supposedly equivalent to Mac. We'll see how they are. And I'll go through pictures and the names of all of them that I got. And they're usually $1.99 and they were on sale for $0.99. Cents. So that's pretty cool. Plus I had a 20% off coupon code for things that weren't on sale. So that was awesome. So let me show you everything that I got. And I paid for all this myself. I didn't get anything for free. So let's see, first I'll start with this. I got this Color Me Fuchsia brush set. It's a travel case and I will show you what came inside. I think that was on sale for $9.99, $9.95. Let's see, I'm trying to see my receipt. Looks like $9.95. So I lost my absolute favorite blending brush. Oh, I'm doing this one handed with my phone. I lost my Eco Tools blending brush, so I am on the hunt for new brushes. This comes with a powder brush. It's synthetic. It's really soft. I would say it's equivalent to like Elf Studio line. One handed is not easy to do. This one is a eyeshadow brush. It's really dense. That'll be good to packing on the color. This one is the blending brush. It's nice. It's not as good as my big fluffy eco tools, but it'll do. I think I just had to go and buy my brush again that I lost. This is a concealer brush, but you can use it to pack on pigments and eyeshadows. This is the detail brush. This is really amazing. That'll be great to use on the lower lash line to line. Okay. So that's that. Then I got this, I should have opened this already, 10 blush palette. This was on sale for $10. I cannot open this one handed. Okay. Wow, these look really dull on camera. I'll have to take some pictures and post them on here. This would be paint from my five-year-old daughter all over the table. This one is really bright pink and it doesn't look like it at all here. Uh, this one's kind of a wine color. These ones are neutral, like tannish colors. This one is bright orange. This is like a nice peachy color. Love them. Hopefully they're good quality. Leia, get down. The cat is right there. There's my mail sitting there. Let's see, what else did I get? Get off the table! Ah, oh, box down. Leia, get down. Oh my gosh, she's not allowed to go on here. Uh, this is my 28 palette for Coastal Scents. It's not great quality. It's just plastic. All your hot pots come in this little bag, which is nice. And they're all in these clamshells so they don't get damaged, which is nice. I got three crease brushes trying to find a new blending brush but they're not really that great. This one is my least favorite. Leah, She's knocking everything with her tail. And this is N06 which would be the classic blender natural. $2.95 for it. This really doesn't have a good feel to it. It'll work but do you see this cat? What a little stink bug. SO8 would be the Classic Blender Crease Synthetic. This one's nice. It's a little um, more dense, so it's not really that fluffy, but it'll work. That was $2.49, the cheapest one. This one's a nice fluffy one. It's not like big and fluffy, but it'll still definitely work to blend. This one is SO6, and that would be the Classic Blender Synthetic, $2.95. So these are right. I mean, they're good priced. Good priced. Good prices. Alright, so let's go through all these colors that I got. 
Oh, and then I got these free gifts, which was awesome. These are, the Coastal Sense has a revealed palette. And I think it's regularly $20, but I think sometimes it goes on sale for $10. And it's supposed to be their version of the Urban Decay Naked palette. So I got three of them are shimmers, and then one is matte in both of these. And I'm glad I got two samples, and they're both uh, different colors, so that's good. I got some of these I Love Makeup stickers. Those are cute. I have a cattail in my picture here. All right, so these were 99 cents. That's insane. So here's some colors. I think I'll do another video swatching them all if you guys want. This is green steel. And so many of these colors look exactly the same. So that kind of sucks. This one is, I don't know how to pronounce it. Caledon green. We'll go with that. Kind of like a limey green color. I kind of tried to get ones that kind of went together. And I read a lot of reviews and looked at a lot of videos, and it seemed like the more metallic -y ones have better quality. They're less powdery. The matte ones, people, other people said that they had more of a powdery finish. So I didn't get too many of those. This one is steel gray. This one is steel blue. Look how gorgeous that is. I was going to get this bright blue color, but, oh, that does have a crack in it right there. But I would probably wear this a lot more often than the other one. This one is light blue. Some of them didn't have the names on them, like this one, so I had to look on my receipt here, and it said the numbers. Uh, this one is called American Rose. That's gorgeous. It is really like a, a more wearable red eyeshadow. That could be really cool. This one is called Coral Pink and it looks like straight copper. There's no pink or really coral. It's still pretty. Oh, what else do we got? A whole line of like taupey colors here. This one is Dark Chocolate. It's pretty. Aluminum Taupe. I swear I have like 10 colors that look just like that. Frosty taupe. I was going to try to step out of my box and get colors that don't all look like this, but I guess I didn't. Light bronze. That is gorgeous. And flesh tone. This one is, that's pretty. Bittersweet orange. Do you like the cattail going back and forth behind me? Peach silver. And they do really, let's see what it says on the back. It doesn't. Um, if you go online, they actually have really good descriptions. It says like whether they're a shimmer and then how opaque. Some are like very opaque. Some are semi-opaque. So they really give good details. And then they all have reviews online too. So you can read what other people say. So definitely check them out. Oh, this is pretty. This one is bright copper. Kind of looks like which other one? This one here. Bright copper and coral pink look almost the same. And then this one is tangerine. That's pretty. It's not like a super bright orange, it's more wearable. And this is a brighter than it's coming up here, so I'll have to take some pictures and post them. And then this one is lavender. Gorgeous. I like this one too. This one is light plum. And it's kind of like a taupey plum. That'll be pretty. Okay, here's my only three matte colors. This one is deep grape. No shimmer at all. Looks gorgeous. We'll see how that plays. This one is light taupe. This looks like a kind of like a MAC soft brown to use blending. And then I have no idea why I got this, but I got light yellow. I don't know, maybe with some of these orangey colors. So I will put them all in my case here, and I think I'll do a swatch video for you guys. So thanks so much for watching, and I think I'll post some pictures at the end so that you guys can see what they really look like. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.